Today we're talking about metal roofing materials, specifically galvanized steel. We're gonna talk about characteristics, benefits, and drawbacks. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett, make sure you subscribe if you're new. We release metal roofing and metal construction content every Monday and Wednesday, and today we're talking about galvanized steel and what that looks like in the metal roofing and metal construction industry as we see it today, some benefits, drawbacks, and characteristics. To help me out, I have Adam Mazzella and Jeff Hawk from Sheffield Metals. Thanks for being here, guys. Oh yeah, thanks for having us. Absolutely. So all the questions we discussed today are located in the description down below. You can jump ahead using those quick links. And I wanna start with characteristics of galvanized steel and kind of what makes that material up. Sure, so galvanized steel on whole is just a really huge subject, huge topic. So I'm gonna bring it in a little bit and really just focus on galvanized steel as it relates to the architectural metal roof and wall industry. Um, galvanized steel is a cold rolled steel and it's coated in a zinc through a hot dip process. Typically what you're seeing in architectural or painted architectural applications is going to be a G90 coated steel. Um, G90 is the coating weight, G is for galvanized, and 90 is the coating weight. You can sometimes see other types of coating weights, heavier or lighter, but really what it is, is it's galvanizing is providing a corrosion protection. So we're talking galvalume regularly on this channel. So it, it's the same concept. It's a little bit different in its corrosion resistance from galvalume, and you know we'll get into that as this video goes on. Right, and we've talked about why it's important to coat uh, bare steel when it comes to architectural um, solutions, you know, because of that corrosion, because of the possibility for rust, and really not possibility, I mean, it's it's going to rust if yeah. it's just bare metal. So having that coating protects that and, and helps it to last longer over time. Yeah, and it, it's like galvalume as well. If you have a cut edge, an exposed edge, um, you're going to have opportunity for rust. And, and typically, one of the interesting things about galvalume versus galvanized is galvalume is warranted. Galvanized is traditionally not warranted. Initially, galvalume actually has worse corrosion than galvanized. The thing about galvalume is that it has self-healing characteristics on the cut edges, and galvanized does not. So galvalume tends to have initial edge creep on a cut edge, while galvanized stays pretty uh, resistant to the corrosion. And then over time, you know, the, the galvalume will slow down or cease altogether, and the galvanized will just start to fail pretty aggressively, sure. pretty quick, once that corrosion does show up. So Jeff, uh, what are the other characteristics of galvanized steel? Okay, well, I mean, the first one we'll talk about is, you know, the standard that defines what galvanized or G90 is, at least for uh, the G90 weights. So ASTM A63 is a standard specification for how galvanized metal roofing is, you know, created and what it needs the minimums to meet to make that uh, coating. So galvanized is basically the layer of G90 and it's coated on both sides with a total coating weight of 0.9 ounces per square foot. So that gives you a 0.45 coating weight on each side. As far as gauges go, they're, they're the same standard gauges that you'll see in the standing seam metal roofing anywhere from 22 gauge to 29 gauge respectively. So you'll see galvanized used a lot more in agricultural, situations, applications, um, face fasten panels, three foot wide panels. One of the benefits of galvanized is that it can be used in high ammonia content areas as in animal confinement that creates that high ammonia content and uh, it performs better in, than galvalume in those situations. So let's talk about some of the benefits of using galvanized steel. I know you just mentioned animal confinement uh, situations, Jeff. Are there any other benefits that you might see? So there's, there's a couple of benefits. You know, I wouldn't say they're resounding benefits, but Jeff mentioned they hold up a little bit better in that high ammonia uh, environment with animal confinement. But like anything else, galvalume versus galvanized in that scenario, they both need to be ventilated. So it's not like a shortcut to the building construction um, in an animal confinement environment. It will fail eventually if it's, if it's trapped, contained, you're getting soil or other things, residue uh, contaminants onto the panels, it will cause it to fail in that environment. So um, it's not like it's resoundingly better, but at the same token, in general, in a well-ventilated area, it's considered better. One of the other benefits of galvanized is that it has better formability characteristics, we'll say. So it tends to be a little bit more malleable, so you see it 
uh, more often in, in stamped applications, you know, things that are, are sharper bends or rounder bends, circular bends, things like that. Like I'm thinking of uh, like a stamped metal shingle or, uh, you know, stamped vent flashings, things like that. Those tend to be done and galvanized a little bit more. And part of it is, is the formability. It's going to have like a little bit less bounce back. Um, tends to have a little less shape issues. You know, you can see like wrinkles or things like that in the metal. So let's move on to the drawbacks of galvanized. Uh, the industry has really moved to a more galvalume substrate for the most part over the years, and that's for a good reason. So what are some of the drawbacks of a galvanized substrate? So the, the, the biggest ones that I can think of right now are, number one is warranty. The fact that galvanized doesn't have a substrate warranty. When you compare it to other products like galvalume that has a 25 year, six month warranty on the base metal itself, on, on the Galvalume steel, Galvalume coated steel. The galvanized doesn't come with any type of warranty. Uh, number two is if you scratch that G90 surface and it starts to rust, it is going to keep rusting. It's one of those situations where you're not going to stop it from rusting. There's not much you can do to get rid of the rust. It's once it starts, it goes compared to say a Galvalume product where the Galvalume has a self healing capabilities. If it gets scratched, it might rust at a little bit area and then it will stop rusting because the aluminum zinc coating combined will start to stop that rust process from happening. Uh, the third one, honestly, is lifespan. You know, tests have shown that galvanized roofs last 15 to 25 years. Galvalume roofs have shown that they'll will last 50 plus years. If it's obviously this is both if they are installed correctly. The lifespan at the high end is half the lifespan of a galvalume product. And cost-wise, Galvanized is pretty comparable to the cost of Galvalume, and you're getting half the lifespan for it. So um, you're paying for a premium product that isn't going to have the lifespan of better products out there that, you know, obviously we're trying to promote. So, Jeff, one other benefit that I can think of for galvanized steel is engineering. Can you talk to me about that? You know, obviously, you know, Sheffield, we test all our products in Galvalume steel. Um, the Galvalume or the galvanized is just the coating. The core steel is still 24 gauge, grade 50. That's what you're actually testing. That's what's going to get the strength of the panel. It's it's like saying, okay, well, we tested a bare Galvalume panel and we tested a painted Galvalume panel. You know, the engineering is still going to apply whether it's a painted product or it's not a painted product. So a, a short, short answer is, you know, the Galvalume or Galvanized shouldn't affect any testing for uplifts, uh, water penetration, any of that. You know, that should all be valid whether you use either one. Even if you tested galvanized, galvalume should suffice and vice versa. So when it comes to galvanized steel and I'm, you know, a homeowner looking for a metal roof, you know, when would that material be the right material for me or would it be? Um, it, certainly in agricultural application, um, if you've got, you know, uh, farm animals, animal confinement, things like that, you know, galvanized is probably the way to go. Um, additionally, you know, galvalume isn't always accessible in every market, just as galvanized might not be totally accessible in every market. Now, you can get it in there and potentially have to pay a premium, but, you know, there are some, some spots in the country where they tend to be more of a galvanized market than a galvalume market. You can't really tell the difference. You know, if you're sitting there looking at something from the ground, if you're seeing there, sitting there touching a painted steel panel, you really don't know the difference. Um, you know, I think where you know the difference is by looking at, you know, the paperwork or looking at the warranty. You know, you may just have a paint finish warranty versus a uh, substrate warranty and a paint finish warranty. So, you know, even to a really discerning eye and experienced eye, you're really not going to notice the difference between a metal roofing panel uh, that's painted particularly, that one's galvanized, one's galvalume, you're not going to notice. Yeah, so Jeff, what about location when it comes to galvanized steel? Does that make a difference? Yeah, galvanized steel is not meant to be used anywhere that there's a saltwater environment at all. Coastal applications, anywhere that you have, you know, an intensity of salt air, things, things are going to start corroding quickly, especially, I mean, anytime you have an unpainted metal roof or painted metal roof installed, things get scratched, whether it's handling the products, whether it's during the installation, at least with a painted product, you can see it. And you can see that you scratch it, you can touch it up, things like that. You know, even Gavalloon products, you know, things get scratched in the install. Um, and if you're in a coastal environment, that salt air is going to find that scratch in the coating and it's, and it's just going to go after it. So 
coastal environments are definitely not anywhere that um you know you want to be using this product this product is made inland um you know away from salt air environments um you know and, and definitely not designed for those types of applications what about colors and finishes you know are they the same with galvanized and galvaloom colors or what's that about Traditionally in the residential space, you're going to see most of your uh, galvanized metal roofing systems. And it's really because that agricultural panel market, which is predominantly a 26 or 29 gauge agricultural panel. So you're going to see the similar finishes as you see in the Galvaloom uh, substrate type products. And, and it's really going to be not a big difference in, in colors and color selection and color variety. It's going to be predominantly a silicon modified polyester and SMP paint. Uh, there are a handful of manufacturers out there that do offer a PVDF uh, paint finish system as well on that. But traditionally, you know, it's going to be 29, 26 gauge. Uh, if you really wanted to go with a standing seam system on an agricultural type application, um, that's where you're going to see more of the 24 gauge and, and typically spanning purlins and things like that in that kind of situation. Okay, so the the factor really is the gauge of the metal that kind of determines that paint choice. It's very similar to what we see in the Galval Galvaloom world um, that you'd see in the galvanized world. I, I just I just add one thing on to that is, you know, using the SMP paint system, you know, with the G, G90 substrate, that's probably going to look a lot more economical uh, when you're comparing, say, 24 ga gauge Galvaloom with a Kynar paint system on it. You know, as far as comparing apples to apples, you got to look at everything, whether it's, you know, the substrate and the paint system that, you know, you're being quoted. Whether it's Galvaloom or it is galvanized, the roof is only going to perform as well as your installer. So no matter which substrate you're choosing, make sure you have the right in uh, contractor for the project because if it's not installed correctly, you're greatly reducing the lifespan of both products and you're probably not going to be happy with the finished product, commercial or residential. Make sure you have the right person to install it. So what does Sheffield offer in terms of galvanized steel? So it's really specialized. We look at it as a custom order type item. So, you know, we're going to have pretty significant minimums, usually 20 to 40,000 pound minimum. So wow. unless you have something that's larger to start with, we generally stay away from it. And it's really because we want to drive our customers towards a warrantable type of product. Where we do offer galvanized and, and kind of in a regular fashion is our vintage product line is a galvanized substrate. And that really is driven by um, kind of where it comes from in the country. It's, it's a pocket of the country, like we discussed, that is a high galvanized kind of market and mm -hmm. so the product looks great uh, functions great you know we haven't had issues with it as we've you know been carrying this product probably the last eight to ten years sure awesome well jeff adam thank you very much for your information knowledge is always appreciated um, if you have any questions comment down below and i know we've talked a lot about galvalume in this episode so if you want to learn more about galvalume we have a galvanized versus galvalume q a episode and blog article you can check that out at sheffieldmetals.com. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel for more. And as always, I'm Fab Barnett, and we'll catch you next time.